hello guys welcome back to my channel my name my name is dima is the real dima so if today is the first time of seeing me make sure to subscribe okay always remember to like my video okay thank you so today's video i'll be talking about i'm living in germany not really living in germany like if you want to study in germany especially doing masters um the requirements what you need and is it advisable for for you to come here is it better to do your masters or study here um okay before further ado you guys have seen that i have a guest here his name is i'm joseph yeah so i invited joseph here so that he can tell us more because he's doing his masters here i have no idea so i'll be asking him questions and you guys will hear the reply so let's dive into this video <laughs> okay so joseph tell us what do you think about um doing masters say for example somebody is coming from nigeria would you advise the person to come here and do masters well yes i would advise them to come here and do masters first of all because of the tuition benefits because everybody that is studying here are part of this are part of the students that don't have to pay tuition but there's a semester contribution that all of us have to pay it's about 300 euros for nrv but other districts have their own fees but we pay it per semester but the only issue the only stumbling block that everybody faces is that the compulsory 11,000, i think 600 euros mm -hmm. that everybody must block before coming here that is also an option. Sorry, sorry, yes. I was sorry for cutting your shoot. If you say block, you, you know some people have never uh, done this okay. process. So can you explain to us what you mean by block? Okay, blocked accounts are typically accounts that are in Germany. You have to open an account in Germany. There are different options like Fintiba, um, and Coraco. Uh, I personally, I used... I think I used Fintiba. I'm not very sure. But you see, those are the options. There are other options there, but the popular ones is Fintiba and Coraco. Those are the ones that are there. So once you have the account and you open it, you would, you are to transfer money to the account, 11,000 euros. And once the money gets to the account, they will send you a notification, like a letter, stating that the money has arrived. Then that document will not be very important for the visa process. So back to what I was saying. So that is the stumbling block. That is stumbling block for most students getting the block account. That, that's an op option. If you have a family member here that is doing pretty well and he can give you sponsorship later, that's also another avenue to which you can also come here as well. Then in the aspects of um, study, I would like to tell everybody that wants to study in Germany that your very first semester, it would be very tough for a fact. It would be, but it needs time and you need time to adjust to the system. Studying in Germany is not the easiest thing to do, but the moment you get into the system, you would really appreciate all that, all that stress you went to. I would advise anybody to come here. Most students with their semester tickets, we don't have to pay for transportation all across our state. We can travel the city without paying anything as long as we have our student's card and the, the accreditation of universities here is top-notch they offer courses in english and in german most german universities would all would would always have dutch classes dutch is german but we call it dutch dutch and german is the same so that's that's also a benefit of of studying in germany then the possibly prospect of work is also possible to work and study the only thing is that you have to extend your study range because most people that work and study, it's a bit difficult to take all your courses at the same time to work. So working, there are a lot of possibilities to work here. The only thing that they are not very nice jobs, they are odd jobs, but they pay and you can, you can live up with it. You can, you can manage yourself, you can take care of your bills, you don't need to be thinking about anything, something like illegal or not illegal. Once you have that sorted, I think you, your cash problem is settled. Then academics, the problem with Germany here is that you do not want to fail a course more than three times. So it's best everybody knows that if you fail the course more than three times, you get expelled from the university and your degree and your program will be cancelled. That's just the only thing. But as long as you're putting in the hours, you're putting in the time to read your books, then you don't have any problem. You just keep it up and keep it going. 
So I think that's what I can get at the top of my head. Okay. If you need that question, you guys can follow up with mm -hmm. from Dima and she will reply. Yeah. Okay, but I want to ask her one more question. For example, like, oh, do you do you know any any like, do you have any idea about coming here for the first time, like coming to university from secondary school? to university or just masters you have idea well, you can't do that but the problem there is that you will not want to do that okay. because the very fact coming into germany they believe you are an adult already mm -hmm. and most nigerian people or most people in fact what i would say is because most nigerians finish school at 16 yeah and they're not very mature so when you come here you find yourself in a lot of things you will not find anybody helping you, like putting you through, carrying you up and down, unless you have a relative here, then that's good for you. But also that mature, that level of maturity that you need to be here. Germans don't care whether you are 22 years old or how old you are. They believe that once you are in the university, you have a level of maturity and you should be able to handle everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. In fact, coming into Germany, they would just believe that you should already know how to speak German. Yeah, they, yeah hey, that's you know, another word. Yeah. Is it a must that you know the language, like going for interview, would they ask other It things? is not a 90, a 70% must, Okay. but at least 40% must. It's not very required, but you should know how to speak German. Okay. okay. Because first of all, speaking, if you want opportunities and you yeah. can speak the language, they are yeah, vast. A lot of, yeah. But only English, you don't have that because everybody will say you must English and German. In fact, if you if you can speak only German and not English, it's still a problem. Mm -hmm. They want the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. German is really okay. German yeah. like you can work everywhere. Yeah. But international companies mm -hmm. which oh, every foreigner would always want to work English. want English so much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but then talking about um, you don't advise them to come here from secondary school, you know. Yeah. You want them to study maybe in elsewhere, yes. then come here for masters. I, I think, think so. it's better. Because you can come for your bachelor's, there's no problem there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I just want to tell you that it's not going to be a very smooth Easy. ride. Yeah. Because I came here for my master's, I think I was, I was 23 or 23. Well, I'm not very sure, mm -hmm. but I was around there, and even at that age, I found it very difficult coping. Mm -hmm. I had to use both systems I never knew how to use. I, I, I would just go and they would tell me an amount, and I didn't even know what the currency was like. Mm -hmm. I just dropped anything, whether they cheated me or not, mm -hmm. I did not know. Yeah. I just dropped it and I just left. Yeah. So it was a very weird experience for okay. me. Okay, like for example, now in Ukraine, mm -hmm. we, we have hostel that is for students. Mm -hmm. And that student is international, so most most of the time you will see your yeah. people like no, you know that kind that's, of thing. That's, that, that's another problem, accommodation. Yeah. Mm. Accommodation is a very big issue. Yeah. Most Nigerians make the mistake mm. to wait for visa yeah. and then apply for accommodation. Okay. Accommodation takes between two weeks to three months to be ready. Mm. It can take two weeks, it can take three months. Mm. So before coming here, get your accommodation sorted out because it's not as if when you come here, they'll tell you, oh, we have a room waiting for you. Yeah. No, the body that handles accommodation is different from the body that handles admission, is different from the body that handles visa. In fact, if you go to the visa office yeah. and you go with your documents and they look at it, they tell you, we'll not give you visa. The university that gave you admission, they don't have any say. Mm. If you have accommodation, if you, have, if you have accommodation issues, you text them, hey, we have accommodation issues. To the investor, give you admission. They tell you, see, contact this person. They are responsible for it. We don't have any say there. Mm. So that's why I say, if you want to come to Germany, it is not a, it is not like going to normal countries that you yeah. go when you land. Oh, look at your room. We are located yeah. for you. Look at your classes. Yeah. We'll take it to the visa yeah. office. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work like that here. Um, but it, it, there is nothing like agents, like agents. They are agents. They are yeah. agents. But I feel like it's their work. Yes, but yeah. where is your agent? Your agent is in Nigeria. Yes? Oh, Sebi. because no, in my, when I was going to Ukraine, I have yeah. agents in Nigeria and I also have agents in Ukraine. Well, you can use agents, no doubt. They are, mm -hmm. they are sure legit agents, mm -hmm. but it's really expensive. Yeah, yeah, that is them. it. That is it. Fact. That is if you are, if you don't mind, if you if you have an agent in Nigeria and here, mm -hmm. then the process will be smooth. Mm -hmm. But we will pay. I think most people charge two thousand, three thousand dollars for wow. admission. <laughs> and and the funny thing is that we don't even get to pay any school fees. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. why should I go through that stress? Yes, but okay, pay. You have to pay for admission. That's for sure. Even pay if for you're not using agents. Most universities in Germany, no. 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 You just go online, apply. Go online, apply. Uh, yeah. Like dad, go to D A A D dot yes. D E. 
There are different universities that they don't ask for application fees. Okay. They ask for any type of fees. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. just when you have to. The, the, the only the only nasty thing again is that you have to send your. Some investors want your real documents. Yeah. The moment they they are seeing that you are close to mm -hmm. the point of your they will request for your original documents, which I advise people to go to the. To go to the to go to like the legalization office, maybe mm -hmm. in in the embassy. I'm not sure the embassy does okay. it, but in Germany. Okay, okay. You know, but when I was in China, because okay. I did my mission from China, yeah. we had the embassy was legalizing our documents, uh -huh. so they gave us some things that we can send. So that's what I sent. I didn't send my original. Oh. Germany investors ask for your original certificates, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to risk that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And now, do you want to give an agent that also yeah. to risk? So yes, well. yes. Uh -huh. Another question, maybe the last question now. Coming for coming here for masters, is there a requirement? Or oh, okay, you are doing engineering, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the requirement for engineering students? And I don't know about medical because I know you know how I do. No, but medical students, you must speak German most times. Yes, because obviously you're working with patients yeah, that speak language. German. It's like engineering. That's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. But then, okay, what is the requirement on your on your what is it called certificate or? Mm. It? See, it depends now. If you're doing electrical engineering, yeah, you cannot. You know, they, they they will not give you admission. Okay. If you are studying mechanical engineering, like mm -hmm. me, I'm me, I'm from mechanical background, okay. so I can come in and do mechatronics. Okay. Now with mechatronics, I can go to electronics now. Okay. But no university allow you to do masters if you don't have if your background is poor because when you go to classes, they they they, they believe that you have the necessary background, so they teach you if like the the courses like. If something about that course they are like hundred levels, mm -hmm. they believe you're already in level eighty oh. already. Oh. So that's why your background must be firm yeah. before you want to come and study. So like if you want to do if you're doing, if you want to do mechatronics, you have to do mechan background should be mechanical. If you want to do computer science or computer engineering, mm -hmm. you can come in with electrical engineering degree yeah. or you can come in with um, computer engineering degree. Uh -huh. Most electrical people can split the computer, mm -hmm. can speak to HTML. Everything mm -hmm. about computing, most electrical guys can split it because the idea is electrical students get to program, do it. But, but us mechanical, we don't do a lot of programming. Mm -hmm. Only C and C++ okay. we get to play with. Mm -hmm. And so I could not... I think all electrical uh, things I applied for didn't work. But actually, some places, if you have mechanical, they'll give you. But the percentage is very low. Okay. Like, I applied for a course and I got rejected. I think FT Dortmund. Mm -hmm. I was a computer, it was an embedded systems engineering course, basically on microchips and microprocessors. Yeah. They did not give me admission because of my background. They said, oh. I, don't have, I, don't have, I don't have the required courses to do what okay. this master is about. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, on your. Um, Result, your result in university mm. like is there specific um is it gpa yeah you should try to finish with two one two one yeah okay. you should try to finish with two one or anything less than that okay. anything less than that your percentage should just be low but okay. you can come in with two two as well mm -hmm. but any but your percentage of getting admission be low, but mm -hmm. it's possible. You can't come in with two two. It is possible. Mm -hmm. I have some friends that they they finish with two two okay. and they are here in Germany studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But now it's that how many universities like me? I think okay. I got admission for like three universities. Mm. I, my grade was not so bad. I don't know how to say why, but it was it was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, okay. So thank you so much. Yeah, I think you really explained this thing to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you're planning on re relocating to Germany to do your masters, study universities, I, it's possible though, but you've had the advice and everything you need. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye.